Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this problem, we're going to compute the Laplace transform of t times e to the negative t times sine t times cosine t solution. So whenever you have a problem with the Laplace transform, say of t to a power times f of t, where, where you can actually compute the Laplace of little f, the following formula is extremely useful. It's negative 1 to the n times the nth derivative of big F with respect to S. You might say, what's big F? Well, big F is the Laplace transform of little f. So this formula is useful when you can compute the Laplace of little f, because if you can, then you just differentiate it as many times as you need, and you plug it into the formula. So in this problem, we have t to the first power. That means n is equal to 1. That means we only have to take one derivative. And this here is going to be our little f of t. So we'll have to start by computing the Laplace transform of little f of t. Once we compute the Laplace transform of little f of t, we'll take the derivative one time and plug it into the formula and we'll be done. Now, to compute this, uh, this Laplace transform, we have to deal with the sine t cosine t. So first recall that if you have sine of 2t, that's equal to 2 sine t cosine t. So if you divide both sides of this uh, equation by 2, you end up with, writing it backwards, sine t cosine t equals 1 half sine 2t. So our little f in this problem, our little f, which is e to the negative t sine t cosine t, this is what we have to compute the Laplace of. We can write this, we can take this and rewrite it. This is e to the negative t times 1 half sine 2t. And now we can put the 1 half in the front and write it like this. So all we have to do now is compute the Laplace transform of little f. And again, once we do that, we'll take the derivative and plug it into the formula. Okay, so the Laplace of little f, Laplace, this is going to be our big F of s for the formula. Well, we can pull out the 1 half, so we have 1 half Laplace of e to the negative t sine 2t. And whenever you have an exponential in front of something you can take the Laplace of, you can use the first translation theorem, or the shifting theorem, or the first shifting theorem. This is the Laplace of sine 2t. And the shifting theorem says that you take a shift, you, replace, you drop the e, and you replace it with the shift from s to s minus a. In this case, a is negative 1. So s minus negative 1 is s plus 1, right? It's the shifting theorem. So if you had like, say you had e to the 3t sine t. In this case, you drop the e, so you'd get sine t. And then the shift would be from s to s minus 3. Here it's s to s minus negative 1, so it becomes a plus 1. It becomes a plus 1. All right, so this is equal to 1 half times... And now the Laplace uh, transform of sine uh, of 2t is going to be 2 over s squared plus 2 squared, or 4. And then we have the shift from s to s plus 1. So that's another formula, right? So the Laplace of sine kt um, is equal to k over s squared plus k squared. How do you memorize this? Well, the way I do it is I, I know that cosine has an S here, so sine has a K. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's how I memorize that one. So this is equal to 1 over S squared plus 4, and then we still have our shift. Our shift is from S to S plus 1. And then to finish, just all we do is replace S with S plus 1. So it's 1 over S plus 1 quantity squared plus 4. All right, so recap, what have we done? So we saw the problem, and we said, okay, how do we do this? <laughs> so you have t to a power. When you have t to a power times something you can take the Laplace of, it's a good idea to use this formula. Um, so you might say, how can you find the Laplace of this monstrosity? 
Well, sine t, cosine t, that should remind you of a trig identity. And then when we rewrite our little f, we end up with this. To do this, we can use the first translation theorem. So now we have big F. Once we have big F, which is the Laplace of little f, we can take the derivative of big F and plug it into the formula. So to, to differentiate this, you can write this as follows. This is to the first power. So what you can do is you can bring it upstairs like this and write it to the negative 1. Boom. And now we can differentiate. So f prime of s, just put the negative 1 in the front. So you get s plus 1 squared plus 4. And then you subtract 1, right? So 1 minus 1 is negative 2 times the derivative of the inside. So here we're going to differentiate the inside. That's the chain rule. So you bring the 2 down. So you get 2 s plus 1 times the derivative of the inside again, which is 1. So two chain rules. And the derivative of 4 is 0. Again, recap. You take the negative 1. You put it in the front. We got that here. That's that negative 1. Subtract 1 so you get negative 2, leave the inside alone. Then you take the derivative of the inside, you put the 2 in the front, that's here. s plus 1 to the 1, and then times 1, that's the derivative of s plus 1. The derivative of 4 is 0, so we did not bother to write it. So this is equal to f prime of s. Looks like uh, the negative can stay upstairs, so it's negative 2 parentheses s plus 1. And we can bring everything else downstairs, right? So it's s plus 1 squared plus 4 squared, right? And that's f prime of s. Everything looks OK. So recap, our formula says if we have the Laplace of t times, we had e to the negative t, sine t, cosine t. Let me scroll up so you can see the formula. Actually, I'll just write it again down here. So the formula said we had t to the n, f of t. So here our n is 1. And this was negative 1 to the n times the nth derivative of f with respect to s, evaluated at s. So in this case, n is 1. So we get negative 1 to the 1 times, and then df ds evaluated at s. And it's df ds because n is 1, right? n is 1. So what is big F? Big F was this. Big F was the Laplace of little f. So we, we did that. Here's little f. We found the Laplace. Then we took the derivative. So now all we do is we multiply negative 1 by this derivative here. So all it's going to do is change the sign. So the final answer will be 2 parentheses s plus 1 all over parentheses s plus 1 quantity squared plus 4, and then the whole thing is squared. And that would be the Laplace transform of t times e to the negative t times the sine of t times the cosine of t. I hope this video uh, has been helpful. That's it.